Welcome to another exciting edition of Monday Night Raw. We now know that Riddle will challenge Lashley for the WWE Championship, but tonight our main event is the Viper Randy Orton versus Cedric Alexander of the Hurt Business. Last week, Cedric hit that lumbar check on Orton, costing him a chance at the title, and tonight Orton has the chance for revenge. And we kick off with this huge match, AJ Styles goes one-on-one -on -one with Ricochet. And AJ goes to the clothesline. And AJ said, anything Ricochet can do, he can do better. And he has a chance to prove that here tonight. And a whip, Ricochet off the ropes. But a handspring floats over. And a deadlift German suplex. On the shoulders. The elbows is way free. And Ricochet now, another springboard and a moonsault gets stopped with the forearm. And AJ Styles with a moonsault on his feet and delivers the neck breaker. And the calf crusher applying pressure to those knees. Going for a phenomenal forearm, but Ricochet kicks him down. And a Ricochet with a tope suicida. Ricochet now go for the recoil, but caught into Hoshigoroshi. AJ springs in, but caught with a recoil. Now AJ wants the Styles Clash. Ricochet though, lands on his feet, delivers an uppercut. Off the ropes, and a Spanish fly. And now Ricochet on the top, 6.30 splash, but caught. Caught into the Styles Clash, no! Ricochet rolling through, and now he's got the legs hooked, and Ricochet with the upset. Ricochet proving he can stand against AJ, and picks up a huge win. Women's division action up next. Shayna Baszler goes one-on-one -on -one with her former tag team partner, Nia Jax. And starts this one quick with a knee strike. And now Shayna laying in shots to Nia. And now the elbows. This one may be over in a matter of moments. And the Kirifuda clutch. And Nia has to tap. And now Shayna Baszler is biting. She's biting Nia Jax. Shayna Baszler has gone insane. Mixed tag team action as Charlotte Flair teams with Angel Garza to take on Oscar and a mystery partner of her choosing. Garza doesn't lack any confidence, but who's Asuka's partner? And it is the Scottish psychopath Drew McIntyre. And McIntyre wants Garza, but now hiding behind Charlotte and getting the early advantage. And Charlotte choking out McIntyre. The men can wrestle the women and the women can wrestle the men in this one. And you can see, tries for the rebound, but caught into a tombstone. And now Asuka tagged in, flying armbar to Charlotte Flair. And trying for the Asuka lock, but look at Garza attack. But Asuka fighting back and kicks Garza square in the face. And now McIntyre's getting his hands on Garza. Back in the ring now, Flair with a suplex. And Garza wants no part of McIntyre, running away from him after costing him the title last week. And they'll go for a figure four, but Asuka with the Asuka lock. And there you see Rhea Ripley, the women's champion. Asuka's the number one contender. But from behind, Nikki Cross, throwing Rhea off the stage. Nikki wants to play a game. And now Dominic Dijakovic out here to talk to the audience. Uh, 
And now Mustafa Ali going to come and confront Dijak. Oh, hold on a minute. Sheamus with a bro kick. He was aiming for Dijakovic, but Ali pushed him out of the way. Sacrificing himself. But Dijak and Sheamus destined for a clash. And now Riddle and Lashley rolling in the locker room. And here comes Randy Orton to get a piece of Cedric before the main event. RK Bro in the hurt business, battling it out. The Viking Raiders set for tag team action against the new 24-7 champion Elias and his tag team partner John Morrison and Ivar driven into Elias and Eric with a vicious headbutt and a discus punch to Morrison and Elias and Morrison working effectively against the Raiders Morrison now disaster kick and Elias misses the clothesline. Eric sends him over. And a big time knee. And now dropping him on the knee. And here's Gulak. Gulak chasing the champion. And Morrison's left alone. And the leg drop. Off the top. The Viking Raiders pick up the win. And look who's out here now. Garza and McIntyre, and he sends Miz out of his chair. Goes for the Claymore, but Garza moves. Garza wants no part of McIntyre, but now the Lucha House Party. Sending him back in. Oh, wait a minute, what is this? The Lucha House Party helping Garza. And the ring belt table off the knee. Garza and the Lucha House Party forming an alliance. Our main event is imminent. Cedric Alexander of the Hurt Business takes on Randy Orton. And the match is underway. Cedric hit a lumbar check on Orton last week, which meant that Orton did not become number one contender. Orton looking for revenge. That power slam. We're now going to send Cedric off the ropes. The handspring catches him with the kick. And now Cedric runs at him. Pressed over, but lands on his feet. And a springboard clothesline. Randy Orton now. Oh, he was up. The Michinoku driver, but a backbreaker instead. Orton looking for the draping DDT, but back drops him to the outside. And now Cedric Alexander with a tope con hello over the top. Lumbar check, maybe. No. And Orton with a bro Derek. Shades of his tag team partner. And a draping DDT. Orton go for the RKO, but blocked by Cedric and a super kick. Cedric on top. And a drop kick in midair. And now, whipped off the ropes into a Michinoku driver. Lumbar check coming. But Orton turns it into an RKO. And Orton going to pick up the victory over Cedric. But look out for the Hurt Business here. The Hurt Business with the assault. And here comes Riddle to make the save. But in comes Lashley with the spear. And the Hurt Lock on the number one contender. The Hurt Business stands tall over RK Bro. What will happen when Lashley and Riddle fight for the WWE Championship? What a night it's been here on Monday Night Raw.